Hi, I'm Rick Niffelt with Sprinkler Lube. This series of videos on root cause of gearbox failure is to help you understand just that. The root causes of gearbox failure and the solution that is available to help you. We have been asked the question over and over, why does Sprinkler Lube 1200 work so well and why does it cost what it does? This is not a short answer. We intend to answer these questions in this series of videos, but we're not going to preach Sprinkler Lube, Sprinkler Lube, Sprinkler Lube. Instead, we intend to look at the root causes and how to address them correctly. Before we do this, there are two issues we need to briefly think about. Symptoms versus root causes and short-term fix versus long-term fix. In thinking about symptoms compared to root causes, imagine you have pain in your knee. Some of us may not have to imagine this. The pain gets bad enough that you decide to visit the doctor. He may prescribe taking ibuprofen or painkillers and say come back if it gets worse. After taking the medication, your pain may go away temporarily. But the underlying problem that caused the pain, it's still there. And eventually the problem causes the pain to come back or get even worse. In the gearboxes on pivots, we see the same situation. The seals on the gearbox start leaking. Water is leaking in, oil is leaking out. So you replace the worn seals with new seals. But next year you again have water in the gearbox and may have oil leaking out. Replacing the seals, it treated the symptom. But the underlying problem caused the same symptoms to return. You need to address the root cause. Actually, replacing the seals year after year is one of a number of short-term fixes. When we look at these worm drive gearboxes with a leaking seal, it becomes apparent that after the oil level drops from leaking, the worm gear bearings at the top of the box will run dry. So if we add some oil, we raise the fluid level to cover them. That is, until it leaks out again. We could even add water to the box. The fluid level would come up. Oil is lighter than water, and the bearings are now lubricated. That might even work through the rest of the season. We could fill the box with number two gun grease and have very little leaking. This may even work for a couple of seasons. But are any of these long-term solutions? Do they deal with the root causes of gearbox failure? The answer is no. They are only treating symptoms and are not long-term fixes. They are not dealing with root causes of gearbox failure. 